Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about one of the important software design principle, coupling. In coupling, there are different types of coupling actually. So one of the coupling is content coupling. What are the types of coupling? Data coupling, data type coupling, control coupling and content coupling. So here, in this video I'm going to talk about what is content coupling and how we can avoid it. Content coupling is when one modi module modifies or relies on the internal workings of the another module. Accessing local data of another module, then it will be a problem because that means they are tightly coupled. And if you want to change the second module, you have to change the, the other module as well. When we change the way second module produces data, will lead to changing in the dependent module. So we should during the design we should always strive to design in a loosely coupled way two modules should be loosely coupled there should not be any much dependent between two modules okay so content coupling means where one module can change the data in the other module which is very dangerous content coupling occurs when one component modifies the data that is internal to the another component look at this picture so this is module A and module B here is the module B so module A from module A you can make a you can change the data of module B which is very dangerous okay so how can we avoid it we should never allow anyone from the outside to access our data and modify it okay which we should consider when we design the software how to avoid content coupling reduce content coupling by encapsulating the data so you should always encapsulate the data hide the information okay so you can declare as private you should never allow anyone to access the variable directly you should you always use getters or setters method getters and setters method so you should the module b is responsible for protecting the data it should not be visible to outside this is how you can avoid content coupling and one more point is you have to strive or to keep different modules loosely coupled okay so when I change module B there should we should not impact the other modules there should not be much change in the the other modules that's how you should strive that should that's how you should design the software components okay hope this video is useful thank you and all the best